Hey, I see you need advice on how to play Pinata. I mean, Zenyatta, the Zenist Overwatch hero in town. Zenyatta was a very famous racehorse. Zenyatta is a robot guy who is a member of the Shambhali, Overwatch's very own resident Buddhist faction, led by this guy. He's a little dead right now though. Zenyatta defeats his enemies by throwing his balls at them. He's also <laughs> he's also ready to dish out deep philosophical proverbs at a moment's notice. True self is without form. Anyways, it's time to put the Zen in Zenyatta and begin this baller guide. Zenyatta's left click makes him throw an orb at an enemy. There is a little delay on the projectile, so make sure you shoot where you think the enemy will go instead of where they are at distances. Zenyatta's right click makes him charge up a bunch of balls, uh, five maximum, and then he'll throw them. Because it takes a while to charge his balls, you should charge up behind cover and then use this ability to assassinate stationary targets like Bastion or Widowmaker. Here's a tip. You can still charge 5 balls, even when you have 1 ball left in the ammo counter. Do what you will with this information. Zenyatta's shift ability is his healing orb. He can throw it at one of his teammates and it will latch onto them. Then, after whining and dining them, the ball will give them a bunch of health. This ability has no cooldown, so make sure you spam it to get maximum value. His E ability is his damage amplifying orb ball. It increases the amount of damage enemies take by 50%. Just like your healing ball, you should always make sure that it's on an enemy whenever possible. Here's a zen tip. You can use your E like a mini Widowmaker ult, because it will reveal your enemy's position behind walls if you keep track of the little icon thingy. Lastly, Zenyatta's Q is his PASS INTO THE IRIS. It's a pretty good move. It makes you invincible, pushes your enemies away, and heals your allies. Anyways, now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we can get to playing Pinata how he was meant to be played. So first we're gonna start with some Buddhist deep breathing exercises. Breathe in. And breathe out. In. And out. Because Pinata is a hero heavily rooted in tradition and knowledge, to connect with him and play him well, you must first have an understanding of his spirituality. According to Google, Buddhism is a religion based on the teachings of Gautama Buddha. How do I know Pinata is the robot Buddha? Well, the main OG Buddha was called Siddhartha Gautama, and Pinata's first name is Tekartha which is a compound of the word tech, coming from the root of technology, meaning that, and the word hartha, meaning hartha. Anyways, the brief history of Buddhism can be summarized like so. All the way back in 624 BC, in a northern Indian town called Lumbini, which is now part of Nepal, a boy named Siddhartha was born. He lived in a royal palace until he was 29 with his parents. I guess after that point he decided he just needed some time to chill and contemplate the meaning of life. So he ran into the forest. In the forest he meditated so much until he ascended. Then I guess he decided to teach some Buddhism to people to like help others reach enlightenment. Now that you have a basic understanding of Pinata's roots, it's time to move on to the next stage, opening up your chakras. But what are chakras? You may be asking. I'm pretty sure chakras are basically pools of energy that float around your body at certain points. And there's a river metaphor or something that I don't really remember. And something about cleaning your chakras. I don't really know. Well, that's probably gonna take you guys a couple decades or so. Um... So anyways, when you uh, pretty much just hop back into the game, uh, and you should get a minimum 45% win rate. 